Welcome to Now, I'm your host, Curtis Parody, bringing you the news happening in the world right now. First things first, happy Monday to everyone. Hope your weekend was enjoyable, and hey, it being April 22nd today, that means it's Earth Day. Yes, today to think about how great the Earth is and to reflect on how, as a human race, we can help preserve it for future generations. Wikipedia describes Earth Day as an annual holiday celebrated on April 22nd, of which events are held worldwide to demonstrate support for environmental protection. Today also marks the 43rd anniversary of Earth Day. So a little fun fact for you there, and we move on. So since today's all about talking about helping the environment, let's start off with some big news surrounding IBM and how they're actually planning on helping the environment. IBM today released plans to build one of the most energy efficient solar panel systems systems in the world. The solar panel, or much more like a solar dish, is designed to function just like a flower. Yes, that's right, a flower. The dish will actually rotate to follow the sun throughout the day. This will ensure that the sun's energy is bounced off of the mirrors arranged within the disc and then bounced towards the center spire where small multi-channel liquid-cooled receivers with photovolactic chips on them convert the sun's power into electricity. Each one by one centimeter chip on this device can create 200 to 250 watts of power a day from a sunny region, keeping in mind that there are multiple chips arranged on the center spire. It's a very interesting idea and props to IBM here because, well, if they can help push forward the clean, renewable solar power, I'm all for it. I feel that solar power is not properly utilized in our society today. Just think about all the flat surfaces atop of buildings that could be converted into solar cell technology. Heck, they don't even have to look like solar panels anymore. These solar panels look just like the regular shingles on top of your roof. Now keep in mind that they cost a lot more, but just think that if every building in a city had one of these, it would be freaking awesome. It would become the world's largest urban solar farm. And I think that'd be kind of sweet. But hey, that's only a dream. Though given the chance to actually cover my house's roof in solar panels, I would totally do it. Though it costs a lot of money and I can't afford it. So we got a little off topic there. On to the next thing. Google has done what Google is becoming more and more known for these days. And I'm not talking about the Google logo, though it is kind of cool. I'm talking about the fact that they put up a new website today to show off how eco-conscious their company is. The website shows off how the company's working to promote clean living, how the data centers that actually power many Google services like YouTube are among the cleanest on the planet, and how the technology in those data centers is either reused or reusable. There's also a page to showcase apps like Google Maps, which helps you get biking or walking directions and even public transportation directions to help make it easier for you to commute through your city in a cleaner way. You can go and check out the website for yourself at google.com green. Just head over there and check it out. You never know what you'll find. Keeping on the green track for today, a new report has come out talking about the Fukushima nuclear plant in Japan and how its expected 40-year cleanup could have been a major understatement. A UN nuclear watchdog team has said that Japan may need longer than the projected 40 years to decommission its tsunami-crippled nuclear power plant and urged its operators to improve the plant's stability. After the massive tsunami struck the plant causing a partial meltdown, Japan has been working to both clean up the radioactive area and get the plant back in operation as it still supplies a large amount of power to the country. The plant continues to suffer problems as just recently two rats were found dead within a transformer box. This is causing alarm because earlier in the year, a rat actually short-circuited a switchboard, which caused an extensive outage and lost cooling to the reactors for over 30 hours. When I see this and then I read about the Chernobyl meltdown, I fear that though nuclear power is very, very useful, it's still very dangerous. I can only hope that in the future we can find a way to either make nuclear power more stable and safe, or find a compelling alternative that provides us with the same amount of power with less of the side effects like the possibility of a meltdown or the nuclear waste created from a plant like this operating. So jumping back here, with this being Earth Day today, I thought I better have an Earth or environmental question to end this show off with. So jumping back to my rant about solar power, if your local city were to pay to have solar panels installed on your roof, would you take the offer? Keeping in mind that it would cost nothing to you, but the city would also not pay you for having it on your roof. So would you take the offer? Tell me in the comments section below, or of course you can always let me know on my Facebook page, through Twitter, or on Google+. Links to all that and the other topics I talked about in today's episode in the description below, along with the always amazing subscribe button. So until next time, I'm Curtis Parody, and that's what's happening now. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. You can of course check out more videos that I create by clicking on them below. Check out now for the latest news happening in the world right now, Paradise Gaming for some fun gameplay videos, or of course my personal vlog channel to see what I'm doing outside of my studio. 
Also, if you're interested in supporting the show and getting some new clothes for yourself, just like this shirt, you can pick up this one if you want. Check out the store at thecurtisparitystore.ca. Bye, everyone.